Alrighty then, it is March 8th, 2024, and this 1968 108 G20 is currently for sale. So I like to go around and uh, take a look at these and post them up for the people that can't get down here and take a close look, especially if you're in the market for one or you're uh, back east and uh, want somebody that's got a little bit of familiarity on these to give it a once around. So this is uh, the 108 as you see and uh, six lug G20 which is standard and I'm going to give a slow look around. There is a very low rust on these and I'll get underneath and show you that. And I'm here with the, the owner, Jim, and he's going to interject anything if I forget or if there's anything to add. So we'll give a, a once around. You see you got panel doors on the back and uh, the, uh, the U.S. Navy bumper. So <laughs> anchors away. On That's that one. Exactly what I thought. So, give a little look on the side. It looks, you know, really straight. It's not, it's not perfect, and that's also not the original, uh, original paint. All right. A little look on the roof. Pretty straight. A little bit of a bowing right there. And you can see the, the drip rail. Looks to be all intact. The original original putty and not any discernible rust. There's one spot right there a little bit. Something happened to that that corner there. I don't know what. So, anyway, the custom uh, side windows on both sides. Let me get back out here. One little, uh, actually a couple of little bubbles on the door. They're just starting. And uh, Jim, you say there was a repair on the, the rocker arm in here? That's what it looks like. From the inside, it's cut out. There's a hole. You know how it's supposed to be. Somewhere, yeah, right here, they cut a hole. Oh, so like an access hole so, so they can bang so it out? So they can bang it out. Did yeah. they put a, a cover back on there? No. Okay. <laughs> I will check that. Front end's nice and straight. I don't see any issue with the grill except something that's going on here. Maybe a little hit. Original bumper up front. There's no evidence of rust on that windshield frame. It's looking good. It does have a first gen door on it and he doesn't have the, the matching key but the rest of the doors are a matching key and they can uh, I guess you have to get in through the passenger side door slide across okay yeah. and then uh, no problem there a few uh, runs drips and errors and one hit here from the the door swinging open and that's because of a, a bad door stop check swing that's been uh, Okay, so uh, the switch on the side here used to be for the windshield wipers, uh, wipers you say? Yep. Okay, and so uh, you just wired them back up the regular way and they're still they're working? They're working fine, so I don't know what the deal was with that. It might have been they were in the process of fixing it or something, I don't know. And then... Uh, Thank you. 
So the windshield uh, wipers work, but there's no squirting on the washer. Of course, the, the uh, bottle is missing here, and it's got your usual aftermarket wirings. Mm -hmm. Standard instrument cluster. Dash is unmolested, but no dash pad, uh, no uh, paper glove box or ashtray. All that stuff is easily obtained. So, decent seats matching on both sides. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, let me look up here. It used to be a moonroof or a sunroof or uh, something else like that. So they got a, a patch on the inside and then it's pretty unnoticeable on the outside, at least for a some, uh, at least it's not very noticeable for an auto mechanic like myself. And this is, uh, we believe it's a 250. Uh, Jim's thinking that it's the original engine. It's got a new valve cover gasket on there, uh, new rebuilt carburetor. Um, and you say you had uh, two or three carburetors on this already? It's the third one. Okay. And uh, what, what goes wrong with the carburetors? Oh, they're just bad. Just not getting good ones. Okay. So, um, he mentioned that when he had the valve cover off that it looked pretty clean underneath there. Uh, when he pulled the side covers off to redo the gaskets, that that looked uh, a little bit more uh, gummy compared to the head. So, it's possible that the head has been replaced and the lower end may be original. They've got uh, the HEI distributor and uh, what was the what was the story on the radiator? Oh, it had a couple leaks. There's some stop leak in it, so it hasn't leaked since. But my my original plan was to replace it eventually. Okay, but uh, you've driven it around in the summer and you had no overheating issues. Yeah, no problems at all. No, okay. it's been fine. Okay, so standard propeller. Uh, what? Uh, what do you got uh, going down, going on underneath that uh, that coil system, or what is what does that oh, have to? Oh, that's a tranny cooler. Oh, wow, that's a, that's an interesting <laughs> one. So the transmission is a turbo 350, but it wasn't the original one. Correct. Uh, so the clutch pedal is just like a footrest, right? That's it. Okay. It looks like more a foot in the way. And then uh, the uh, linkage is with the standard uh, gear shift. But of course, it's just for the automatic, and uh, there's no indication. So you got to have it, a feel for where this thing is in gear. All right, treads decent all the way around. And now let's go into the the back. It's got the original sticker, original build sticker, which is nice. And we're gonna hover on that. There we go. Blue trim, front axle, engine 230, auxiliary seat, heavy rear springs, and heavy front springs. And then you can barely see, it looks like, uh, well, let me get closer. Come on, focus. Yeah. Looks like uh, 411 ratio rear axle and then the model transmission the original was manual so anyway that's what I can see 411 and it's got the uh, it's got a, a 12 bolt rear axle I don't know if that's uh, May not likely be original. Some of that uh, tag is obscured. Open this up. Oops, sorry. Okay, so there's some uh, some speakers. 
I don't know what model they are. Does uh, does the radio work at all? Yeah, it works. Okay. So you can hear these speakers in the back pretty good? Yeah, and there's two more up in those cardboard boxes beside each seat in the front there. All right, all They're right. not mounted, they're just stuck in boxes. Okay. Let's see here. And we will go on the side and pull that cardboard out so we can get a look at the rest of the floor. Are there uh, anything, uh, any uh, accessories or anything that come with it? Or is it just what you see is what you get? What you see is what you get. And All I right. do have another box in the garage of old, most of it's junk that came with it. I just kept it just in case and uh, throw that in too. Okay. This little pan of the floor here looks pretty good. Not not very molested at all. Okay. Doors seem to close pretty well, fit pretty well. And once again, I'm not sure if those are original panel doors in the back, but they do seem to match the color of the rest of the van. So, a little extra insulation on those ribs. Uh, do you know how old the battery is? Uh, it's old. And if you look, it's sitting on like a carpet or something. Okay. So I have a battery box bottom thing to go in it. I just haven't gotten right. around to it. So there's no, no extra charge for the battery carpet? None at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I gotta ask. All right, let's get that passenger door open. This one has a working door stop check swing. That all looks nice. Looks like it might be raised up just a little bit there. And I don't know what the, what that is. I'll have to take a look. Now you got a, a new heater core in here, but you said it was kind of a universal one? It's a universal one. Uh, I had to build a little bracket to make it fit, but it works fine and it's in there solid. Okay. Okay, before we crawl under there, uh, you said when you got this van it had some front end parts and uh, they were brand new in the box Correct. in the back of the van. Yes. And those have been installed. Those are all on the tie rod ends, the drag link, uh, the shackles, and the shackle bushings and all that. It's all new. And I'd say within like 100 miles, maybe 200 miles. All right. So like tie rod ends, drag link, uh, front shackle bushings, uh, but you didn't do the front eye bushings for the front springs and correct uh what was the story on the kingpins um one kingpin had kingpins there's still another one in in the box in the back there one of them had some play so i replaced it the other one there's no play so i just left it be okay so driver's side has been replaced but the passenger side has not correct okay well let's see if we can crawl underneath here and see something All right So there's the transmission cooler. Everything looks pretty standard. Was this a master cylinder replaced recently? Um, not by me. Okay. It works fine. So, I don't know what that is. Some, they're a little bit dark here, but there's some, some issues with that. Minor light. Single horn. Uh, let me get some more of this front end. Of course, the G20s have the 11 inch brakes. I'm not 
not seeing any leaks on the ground so it looks like this is pretty tight as far as the the oil shocks in the front look kind of old uh, you know you can see an example of the tires so all right we're gonna crawl out of here and look at the back Thank you.